Elsewhere, Mansfield's old Granada cinema has been brought to life in the form of a miniature model. The building was Mansfield's first luxury cinema and operated from 1930 until 1973, located on Westgate in the centre of town. Mansfield 103.2's very own presenter, Ian Watkins, commissioned the building of the model, which was set to feature alongside his Granada radio documentary in Mansfield Museum this year. Unfortunately, that exhibition has been put on hold for now due to coronavirus, but I spoke to model maker Lee Robinson about what it was like to work with Ian to help preserve such an interesting piece of local history. Well, initially he said, I, I do have some plans and I thought, well, brilliant, that's exactly what, what I need and that, that helps an awful lot in terms of working out where things went. So uh, I do work an awful lot from photographs, but if, if a plan is available, then that makes my life so much more easy. And now that you've spent a long time working on it and obviously studying these plans and studying the photographs, do you feel like you know a lot more about the, the history of the cinema and, and obviously that you're an expert on how it looks now as well? Oh, I do, yes. It would have been a mammoth job to have built the whole thing, which I could have done given the, the plans that we had. But, you know, we wouldn't have had any further information of, of, of the back, down the side, at the back. That wasn't photographed. So a lot of guesswork would have had to be made up. But just looking at the plans that were initially submitted back in 1930 or whenever it was, it's an absolutely magnificent, vast building, you know, with all the corridors and the steps and passageways. It does look like a, a marvellous place. And listening to the stories of people describing how they used to go into the building and what it was like inside, it does sound like it was a very nice building. And it, it does make you sad looking at the pictures of the plans as they were and then looking at the photographs of uh, demolition work in progress as it was being torn down to make way. It's quite sad, but it's nice to have been able to sort of preserve the memory of, of what it may have looked like or what it did look like. Last weekend, Ian took you, socially distance took you to the original site in Mansfield. Um, so how did that make you feel? It's quite emotional in a way. I've, I've seen it in photographs. He's, um, he's shared photographs showing what's there now and, and how it looks, but it's, it's different being seeing a photograph and actually being there in real life. But because I've been so involved in making the model, anybody coming from outside that never knew it was there, you know, wouldn't have that kind of connection to it. But having sort of seen all the old photographs and, and positioning yourself on the street as it was 60 years ago or whatever is quite surreal, really. And having the, the building still standing that I'm, I modelled on the corner, having that still standing gives you a, a grounding for, for where everything was. And it's quite, uh, it was quite good. I enjoyed it. And if you want to check out photos and a special blog post all about the newly finished model, visit thegranadamansfield.co.uk online.